Welcome to Glen Murray Distillery, where we've been producing our single malt Scotch whisky here in Elgin at the heart of Speyside since 1897. A lot has changed here at the distillery as we've increased the capacity over the years, but we still continue to follow the time-honoured traditions of Scotch whisky production. Follow us now as we take you on a tour, a virtual tour, of our distillery. This is the Glen Murray Malt Store, where we take delivery of malted barley here at the distillery every day. That process is now outsourced to maltings around Scotland, but they continue in the same tradition. Steeping the barley to kickstart the germination, allowing it to develop for a period of time before kilning it dry. The malted barley is then ready for use and delivered to the distillery. This kilning process is typically done using warm air here at Glen Murray, meaning our character is slightly sweeter, rather than the smoky style if we'd used peated malt. But for a brief period every year, we use malted barley which is dried using peat. This will give our spirit a unique and very distinctive smoky character. This is our mill room, where we take the malted barley that we have stored next door and transfer it through into the mill. Here, our four roll porteous mill will break down the malted barley into grist. The maltster has gone to the effort to change the internal structure of the seed. So here in the mill room, we want to grind it down so we can get access to the starches that are now contained on the inside. After about four hours of milling, we will end up with just over 10 tonnes of grist that we can take onwards for the mashing process at the next stage. This is our mash tun. Here we will mix the 10 tonnes of grist with water from the River Lossy. The water is added at a controlled rate and temperature which will allow for the steady conversion of starches into sugars and give us a liquid we call sweet wort. To maximise the sugar extraction, we will add water in three stages. The first is 41,500 litres at 64 degrees centigrade. The second is 12,000 litres at 75 degrees centigrade. And the third is 34,000 litres at 85 degrees centigrade. So here from the mash tun, the first and second waters will be transferred onwards for fermentation, whilst the third will return to become the first water in the next batch of grist coming through. Taking waters one and two from the mash tun will give us in the region of 50,000 litres of wort that we can begin fermenting. This will take place with the addition of yeast. We add about 320 litres of liquid yeast and leave it for around 60 hours to ferment. During this time, the yeast will break down the sugars, converting them into alcohol and also creating flavour compounds. By the end of the process, we have created a strong beer-like liquid that we call wash, which is roughly about 9% alcohol by volume. We are now at the distillation stage. Here at Glen Murray, we distill twice. The first distillation takes place in what is called wash still. We have three large wash stills, where we will take the beer-like liquid and distill it down into a liquid that we then call low wines. These low wines will be around 21% alcohol by volume. On the back of the stills, you can see we have a second column, which allows us to harvest the heat and distribute it to other parts of the process, making the distillery more efficient and greener in the process. Then we have our six spirit stills, where we will run the second distillation at the distillery. Having produced the low wines at about 21% alcohol, we will distill again, but this time we are only looking for the middle cut of the run. The head of the run, or the four shots, will go from 84% alcohol to 74% alcohol. This part is too strong and is very sweet. The heart of the run, or our spirit cut, runs from 74% to 64% alcohol giving our spirit, which is roughly about 69% when we combine it all together. This will be transferred onwards and filled into casks to mature into our single malt whisky. We will continue to distill below 64% alcohol, but here we're collecting what we call the faints. Much lighter in alcohol, but not as pleasant in character as the middle cut of the run. So from the spirit still, we'll hold back the four shots and faints and combine them and mix them with the next batch of low wines coming through before returning them to be distilled a second time. This is the filling store, where the new make spirit will come down from the still house. Here, our warehouseman 
we'll have to check the alcohol strength before calculating how much water is required before bringing it down to a filling strength, which is 63.4% alcohol. They will then fill the spirit into the cask before sealing it up and transferring it into warehouse for it to be left to mature for a minimum of three years before we can then release it as our single malt Scotch whisky. We have arrived at the warehousing where the casks are now kept in storage. Here at Glen Murray Distillery, we have a capacity for up to 180,000 casks to be maturing at any one time. Here, in Warehouse 1, we store roughly about 4,000 casks in a Dunnage-style warehouse. This warehouse, if you ever get the opportunity to visit, will be the warehouse we take you around to show you the wide array of different casks we have here at Glen Murray. Whilst the majority of our whisky is matured in ex-bourbon casks from the US, we do have a mixture of other casks. Sherry casks from Spain, port casks from Portugal, rum casks from Martinique, and wine casks from all around the world. Amongst a selection of other experimental casks which we hope will come to light in the future. The casks will remain here for a minimum of three years by law but generally most Glen Murrays will sit here for a much longer period of time before being sent onwards for bottling. During this time, the angels will take their share from the cask. Every year we lose about 2% of our spirit to evaporation. To give you an idea, this cask has sat here for 14 years and when it first started life, it was filled to the top. Visually, we can see just how much the angels have taken over this period of time. All of our whisky here at Glen Murray starts life as the same spirit. It's the period of time in cask and also the cask styles that allows us to differentiate our bottlings. It's this wide range of ages and cask styles that allows us to have this broad range of whiskies here at Glen Murray Distillery.